Hello, I'm Nancy Bird Walton. I was born in 1915 in Kew in the Manning Valley. My parents told me that when I was four years old, I listened to the great air race from England to Australia. They said I was so interested that when it finished, I ran out to the backyard, climbed the fence and attempted to fly. It was a soft landing luckily, so no damage was done. In 1931, Wingham held an air pageant. And of course I had to go and I summoned up all my courage and went on an aerobatic flight. Oh, it left me very scared, but very excited as well. That's when I knew I had to go into aviation. So I worked hard and saved all my pennies. And when I had enough money, I got myself an instructor. He was such a lovely man. His name was Charles Kingsford Smith. In the first year, I actually gained my class A license. And then within the next two years, my class A advanced license and my class B commercial license. Then I was offered a job in an air ambulance flying in Outback, New South Wales for the Far North West uh, Children's Scheme. I used my own gypsy moth in that incident. So when I had to land on the Outback fields, it was very dicey. Now I only had to dodge the rabbit holes, the odd cow and occasionally a kangaroo. But it was fun. I was called the Angel of the Outback. Then I also played a very vital role in the war where I trained women in aviation as the WAF. That's the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. In 1938, the then Defence Minister, Mr Frederick Thorby, decided that it was biologically unsuitable for women to fly planes. So I was forced to be grounded. And it was during this forced grounding that I decided to write a book and also form the Australian Women's Pilot Association, which I was their president for 1950 to 1990. Our motto was skies unlimited. I was a very fortunate person in my life. In 1966, I was awarded the Order of the British Empire. In 1990, the Order of Australia. In 1997, I was declared a national living treasure. Then, in 2001, I was inducted into the Victorian Honour Roll. They also named an airport after me in Western Sydney, and Qantas announced that they would call their A380 aircraft the Nancy Bird Walton Aircrafts. But then, in 2006, I decided at the age of 90, it was time to hand in my pilot's licence. I did this, but if you'd like to know more about my life, and I think you could find my book, I would suggest you read it, because it's called, My God, It's a Woman.